Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of Storyboard Time with Chris Bell. For this first episode of Storyboard Time, I'm going to be showing you a storyboard slash animation that I made for The Journey of Greenfeet, a Minecraft parody of my Works. Minecraft The Journey of Greenfeet was written by Joseph Blanchett, the legendary frog. I was brought on board to provide animation and storyboard art for the project. My friend Mark Wentland, seen here, is the man who provided the voice for our narrator, Roland Manley, who is supposed to be a David Attenborough-esque character. What a classy character. Anyway, without further ado, I present to you the storyboard slash animatic for Minecraft, The Journey of Greenfeet. I hope you enjoy. Welcome to the world of Minecraft. This beautiful, untouched paradise is home to many fascinating creatures. The peaceful cow. The humble pig. Even the water holds tremendous life, as seen here by our friend the squid. But today we've set our eyes on one of Minecraft's most fascinating denizens, the creeper. Lovely, isn't he? We've been following this specimen for several days, a fine buck we have named Greenfeet, and in his eyes you could see longing. The blooming of the red flower signals the start of spring, and thus the start of creeper mating season. And luckily for Greenfeet, he is now mature enough to take a mate. Greenfeet finds the highest mountain he can find, and scans the countryside. There are no signs of a female anywhere, given the solitary nature of the creeper. This is hardly surprising. He lets out a mating call. Sss Wonderful. And again. Sss Greenfeet waits patiently, and in the distance... The call is returned, and now the trek begins. The journey will be long, but with the natural beauty of the surrounding world, one can hardly complain. But our friend Greenfeet is so focused on his quest, he barely notices. He walks by an impressive crater, left behind, no doubt, by one of his kin. Greenfeet has no time to mourn. It is getting dark, but Greenfeet presses forward. In the distance, he sees a solitary light source. One can assume it was left there by a traveling adventurer. Surrounding the lone torch gathers one of Minecraft's natural inhabitants, the zombie. The zombie is driven by a single purpose and desire, to eat the brains of the living. And the adventurer is a fine supply of this delicacy. Unfortunately, the common zombie lacks the mental capacity to realize this camp has been long since abandoned. Dawn approaches. At long last, Greenfeet has found the one who returned his call the day prior. A lovely specimen we shall call Petunia. Greenfeet cautiously approaches Petunia, but she gives a warning of disapproval. It is clear that a female of this caliber will require a gift to gain her trust. Our hero begins a new quest to find a suitable courting present. A speckled mushroom. Perhaps not so rare, but a pretty thing nonetheless. Petunia is unimpressed. Unfazed, Greenfeet stands in waiting next to a chicken. Patience is something a creeper has in spades, and the waiting is paid off. A single egg. A fine gift for any female. Petunia is picky indeed and it dawns on green feet that only the greatest gift will satisfy the object of his affection. Diamond. A trip to the deep, lonely darks of the earth is in order. Luckily, nearby is a cave, and the promise of a diamond lures green feet in. Diamond is a rare mineral, but if one finds a natural source of magma, then the precious stone is likely nearby. The caves are a labyrinth an ever-twisting series of passages that has never known the light of the surface. After some searching, 
the pool is found, Greenfeet is overjoyed. It will take some time for him to break the diamond from the stone. A noise in the dark, Greenfeet hides in the shadow. Ah, an adventurer, perhaps the very same adventurer that made the camp. With one graceful movement, the adventurer produces a mining pick of the finest iron and begins to secure the diamond for himself. Panic begets Greenfeet. His one chance at a mate is about to disappear forever. He must act. He makes his presence known, and by natural instinct, the adventurer stops and turns around and is frozen in fear. A standoff. A sword is drawn. The adventurer is feeling lucky and risks a single step forward. Greenfeet is prepared and begins to ignite the sulfur in his body. The resulting explosion will surely destroy the threat, but at the ultimate cost. <laughs> Success. With the diamond obtained, it is time to return to the surface and reunite with the lovely Petunia. Petunia, as expected, is overjoyed with the present. The lifelong goal of our young creeper is about to be obtained. The female presents herself, and the male gets into position as nature's oldest of ceremonies begins to unfold. The deed is done, and the resulting mixed sulfur will bring new life. Over the next several months, a tree appears, and after several months still, the budding flowers bloom from its branches. From these flowers, the pods mature and are released. A healthy litter, but the first moments of life are also the most dangerous. Panicked and confused, only a handful of the newborns make it to the safety of the dark caves. In years' time, one of these young ones will emerge from the dark and seek and continue the circle of life, just as her courageous parents, Greenfeet and Petunia, once had. Despite the loneliness... Despite the dangers, and despite the ever mounting odds, life will always find a way. Next time on the world of Minecraft, we follow one of Minecraft's most misunderstood creatures, the reanimated skeleton with a bow and arrow riding a giant mutant spider. The end. I hope you folks enjoyed that behind the scenes action. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. This was Storyboard Time with Chris Bow. May you have long days and pleasant nights.